Hello viewers. Welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. Here we will learn about different concepts related to civil engineering. Time to enter the world of civil engineering. In today's video we are going to discuss about Pelton Wheel Turbine. The Pelton Wheel Turbine is a tangential flow impulse turbine in which a high-speed water jet is created by converting the pressure energy of water into kinetic energy and this jet collides tangentially with the wheel to rotate. The energy available at the inlet of the turbine is only kinetic energy. The pressure energy at the inlet and outlet of the turbine is atmospheric. This is a hydraulic turbine and the main uses of these turbines are in the hydropower plant to generate electricity. It is impulse tangential flow, high head, and law specific turbine. It require comparatively less quantity of water. A Pelton will name after the American engineer Lester Pelton who contribute much to its development. The energy available at inlet is only kinetic energy. Parts of a Pelton wheel turbine A Pelton wheel turbine consists of five major parts and those are Nozzle Runner and buckets, casing and braking jet, penstock, nozzle, nozzle and flow regulating arrangement, spear. A nozzle is a conical guide mechanism, which guide the water to desire path. It also regulate the flow of water. This water in the form of jet strike the veins. Aconical spear operates inside the nozzle in an axial direction. The function of spear is to control the quantity of water through the nozzle. When the spear push forward into the nozzle it reduce the area of jet, and then quantity of water flowing through jet is reduced. When spear is pulled back of the nozzle, the quantity of water is increased. Penstock It is large sized pipe or conduit which conveys water from the high level reservoir to the inlet of turbine. Penstock is made of steel, concrete, or wood depending on head and quantity of water requires. Runner and Buckets A runner is a circular disc fixed to horizontal shaft. On the periphery of the runner, a number of bucket are fixed uniformly. The shape of bucket is of a double hemispherical cup or bowl. Each bucket is divided into two symmetrical parts by dividing wall is called splitter. The purpose of splitter is to split water jet in two equal parts without shock each part of the jet flows sideways round the smooth inner surface of the bucket and leaves it with relative velocity almost opposite in direction to original jet. When the bucket is exactly hemispherical cup, the jet gets deflected through an angle 180 degrees, and maximum driving force will be exerted on the runner. For high head turbine, bucket are made of bronze, stainless steel, or alloys, but for low head turbine it may made of cast iron. The surface of bucket is very smooth. Casing the function of casing in Pelton turbine is to prevent splashing of water, guides the water to flow to tail race and provides safety against accidents. It is made of cast iron or fabricated steel plates. 
The casing of the Pelton wheel does not perform any hydraulic function. Braking Jet When the nozzle is completely closed by moving the spear in the forward direction, the amount of water striking the runner reduces to zero. But the runner due to inertia goes on revolving for a long time. To stop the runner in a short time, a small nozzle is provided which directs the jet of water on the back of the veins. This jet of water is called braking jet. It acts as a brake for reducing the speed of the runner. Working principle of Pelton wheel turbine. Let's understand by the figure or layout of the hydropower plant. The water is stored at the high head. From there it comes through the penstock and reaches the nozzle of the Pelton turbine. The nozzle increases the kinetic energy of the water and directs the water in the form of the jet. Now, the jet of water from the nozzle strikes the buckets, veins, of the runner. So that the runner rotates at very high speed and the quantity of water striking the veins or buckets is controlled by the spear present inside the nozzle and then the main important process is the generator is attached to the shaft of the runner which converts the mechanical energy, rotational energy, Y, of the runner into an electrical energy. These are some advantages of Pelton wheel turbine. The Pelton turbine is the most efficient of hydro turbines. It operates with a very flat efficiency curve. Each bucket splits the water jet in half, thus balancing the side load forces or thrust on the wheel and thus the bearings. It operates on the high head and low discharge. It has a tangential flow which means that it can have either axial flow or radial flow. Pelton wheel turbine is very easy to assemble. There is no cavitation because water jet strikes only a specific portion of the runner. It has fewer parts as compared to Francis's turbine which has both fixed veins and guided veins. The overall efficiency of the Pelton turbine is high. Pelton wheel turbines, both first law and the second law of motion are applied. The main advantages are that in this turbine, the whole process of water jet striking and leaving for the runner takes place at atmospheric pressure. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.